Listen, can't you see my greatness? Uh-huh. Yeah. I said, can't you see my greatness? Yeah. I said, can't you see? Okay, we're vlogging. It's great to be a tiger. Ain't gonna do itself. <laughs> cool. Good morning, y'all. It's Peter Nern coming at you from Seegers Ranch in Montana. Uh, today, me and my buddy Kay Denhoff, we're uh, we're fixing some fence posts and we're chopping up some wood, getting the shed ready. We're doing a lot of work out here. It's it's, it's snowing today in on in May. We got some. Uh, I'm not sure what they're doing, but it's a good time. I'm Pat Seegers, and we're in Roundup, Montana. Of course, obviously, I'm, I'm Guy Seegers. I'm, I'm from Hartsville, and we are very involved with Clemson in a number of different ways. And we just uh, heard about the Paul journey, and so that uh, began our interest in helping in some way so that they can uh, understand what another part of our country is about and uh, meet the people here, see how ranch work is done, and it has been very helpful having them here. And we would hope that they would go back with a memory that will be a lifelong memory of their time in Montana. I've uh, never been to Montana, and I watched Yellowstone, really enjoyed that, and thought it'd be interesting to be a ranch hand for a week, and it's awesome. Not a lot of time for us to go home throughout the year, so when it popped up that there was internships, I was questioning it. If I wanted to do it or, or go back home, but once they popped up and said Montana, we're going to ranch hand, I was like, yeah, I, I have to do that one, <laughs> no, no question. It's really great having them here out on the uh, ranch, um, busting up wood, you know, for firewood, or uh, I think it's kind of got a little bit competitive with uh, who can chop the, the most, the fastest. It's been a lot of fun, sure has. Two, three, four, five, Ah, six, and he's out, man. You're doing less? Yeah, there ain't no shopping. Come on, come on, I'll do this, fuck game. He does not have it in him. I promise you, he's from Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's one try to six, son. Right. Don't play with me. That was a rotten piece of wood, I can tell by the me. So today, we went to the coal mine, Sentinel Peak coal mine, which is the largest coal mine in the United States, so we got to go on underground there, and see what that's like and I thought that was really interesting and really cool. I'm Danny Carter. I'm the safety manager here at Signal Peak. We got all these guys up here. We're going to take them underground and show them how this mine runs. It's going to be very interesting. We got a long wall that produces about 30,000 tons a shift. 12 hour shifts. It's very, very interesting fit. underground. Show me the fit. We'll get a Ghostbuster fit. Ghostbuster fit. Ghostbuster fit. Get you some of this. Uh, Going down into the coal mine, we got into these bulky trucks. Kind of remind me of the Ghostbusters. It's got like the seats in the back and uh, big metal shells. I guess keep it safe, obviously. It's crazy because you're going on like a 20 minute ride. Just shows you how big those mines are under there. Alright. Good work. We have pure coal right here. The 
coal mine was definitely my favorite thing. I've never seen that one before, but um, going straight down into the mine and you see the machine operating is tearing apart the side of the mountain while we're underground in there. It's crazy how big the machine is down there. It, it really shows you, I mean, these guys, they live it. Favorite part, honestly, just kind of out here with the guys and on, on the house for like a week. I mean, that's pretty cool, just getting to know more and more and more and more about my teammates. Yeah, we're actually really getting to know each other a lot. And, uh, you know, we sit around the bonfire every night and just uh, we just share like life stories and, you know, we'll ask a question or whatnot. And it's been pretty cool. We've, we've gotten a lot closer and uh, it's a neat experience. Hey, what's up, Clemson family? We're here in the Big Apple, getting started with micro internships. Got one with the NFL. We're excited to go. Hey, Clemson family. My name is Daniel Van Norton, Senior Manager of Football Development at the National Football League. And we're excited today to begin the micro internship for the Clemson football student athletes. So today we took the student athletes through a whole tour of this building. This is our goat, bro. It's our goat. What's your favorite Cowboys playoff win that you've seen? Hey, hey, bro. <laughs> wow. Playoff win? And they had met with a lot of the executives from football operations, different departments and different leads here. This sport has um, opened doors for athletes to walk off of the field and find a home. I said one of these guys could be the next Troy Vinson or the next Roger Goodell. And we left them with a business prompt to really understand their thought process on how the NFL can effectively reach and target and educate college football student athletes. So we're excited for what they're going to come up with in the next few days. Um, working in sports, I've always said it's about uh, making those connections and building your network because mm -hmm. it's such a small business. Because um, at the end of the day, as athletes, like you have instant credibility walk into a building because of your, your tall stature, your shoulder, your leader. But I think so we have inherent things from a leadership standpoint that, that most people would, would die for. Uh, like it's a kid's game, but you're doing it on the highest level mm -hmm. and you're really good at it. Mm -hmm. And I respect that so much. So being able to, you know, do whatever that work is behind the scenes to let people like you shine on game day. Like do what you do, have fun doing it and yeah, I've always just wanted to support that and be around it. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I absolutely loved it. You know, we're, we're here in New York City, and just to be able to meet the people that we met today um, and to get, gain the knowledge and the experience that we gained, uh, it's, it's incredible. Today, I, it really just opened my eyes, really seeing all the jobs and all the things that go into preserving the game of football, which I really take pride in and I really feel is important for the future of the game of football. So I'll definitely consider doing jobs like these in the future and just after I play football, I get done. There's always a job for, for us as players. I just I feel empowered by the people we met today. Uh, we were talking to uh, this girl named Jade Burroughs. She was uh, very, you know, very experienced. Just to be able to meet her and see what she's going through. And she talked about like all the experience she had working with the Eagles and the Big Ten. Like it was crazy just to learn all that knowledge that she had. And now that she wants to connect with me, and I know I want to connect with her down in the future because you know she might be somebody that that can get me a job or that can get my foot in the door, and it's, it's huge because not everybody gets that. Yeah, I think it's really incredible that there's an opportunity that's offered at Clemson for football student athletes to really learn the business. Um, I think it's great that there's an opportunity for them to come and play at Clemson and have a phenomenal time playing in the stadium, being surrounded by fans, but the opportunity also to grow and learn as an individual outside the game is really incredible. So I think it's phenomenal that this opportunity is given to all the football athletes at Clemson to really maximize their potential both on and off the field. This experience is once in a lifetime, you know, internship of the NFL, where else can you get that? You know, I, I came to this internship ready, prepared uh, by Clemson. And, you know, Paul Journey has, has played a huge part in that. Uh, you know, just getting me ready for opportunities like this and allowing me to have opportunities like this. Uh, you know, it's why Clemson is so special and uh, you know, it's, it's why our culture is, is different than anyone else's. You have a passion and when you're able to, when you're able to figure out what your passion is, 
You can figure out what you want to do with your life. You can figure out the problems that you want to fix. And that was something that I really took from the day that they, they really showed me is that, you know, maximize your strengths, know your passion, and, you know, the world is yours after that. What's up, Clips of Family? It's Blackman Huckabee, sophomore wide receiver. I'm out here in the Big Apple, Times Square, in the middle of my micro internship with The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. It's exploring the city, having a blast. Hey guys, so we're on the 11th floor of the Colbert office where most of the interns hang out, uh, just grab a bite to eat or just hang out and talk to everyone around. Uh, you know, mostly while I've been here, we've been just looking at um, the inner works of the TV production, uh, the entertainment industry, and just the behind the scenes of everything that goes on leading up to the filming of the show and just get to see all the cool aspects of what goes on um, behind the scenes. I want to thank everyone at Paul Journey for being able to have something so special. Um, the, no other program in the country uh, could, could pull something like this off. Um, I think it's extremely important that we're able to do stuff like this and we're able to get out and we're able to prepare ourselves uh, for the next phase in our life. This is an incredible experience. I'm extremely grateful. I'm glad that I can represent Clemson football in a great way and I'm just really excited to be out here. What's up, Clinton family? Trent Howard here, Red Shirt Sophomore Center. I'm here with... What's up? It's Holden Casperson, Red Shirt Freshman Long Snapper. We're here doing our micro internship in Midtown Manhattan, working with uh, Credit Suisse this week. Uh, we've been shadowing uh, some high yield traders, um, as well as some high yield sales staff and some uh, financial analysts. It's been a great time. Uh, huge thank you to Jason Safriot for having us and Miss Laura Flynn, as well as the Paul Journey staff, Rashard Hall, Carly Welch, appreciate y'all. Hey, paint us a picture. What What is it like up there if we can't see it? Ooh, it's intense. Lots and lots of information flowing through. Everyone's yelling back and forth, working together. It's exactly like a football locker room. There's a lot of tendencies from that that switch to there. You got to trust your teammates, trust your coworkers up in there. I'm going to be honest, it, it felt like we were at home when we got in there. Everybody's hollering and screaming. Things come at you fast, you know, just like it does in football. There is no better preparation for being on a trade floor in New York than being a, uh, being a football player and being a student athlete and learning how to manage time as well as working with other people. It's just great. It's just been a great experience. New York is definitely interesting. Uh, grew up just in a suburban town, nothing nothing like this city life. It's just a great time. What do you think, Trent? Uh, I don't know, man. New York, it's been wild. Uh, it's a lot, a lot different than what I'm used to um, being from Alabama, but uh, it's been a great experience. Hey, that's what this is about, going out and getting some experience, you know, learning some new things, learning some uh, new cultures, meeting new people from all over the country and the world. We'll say sneaker shops here, legit. I'm definitely gonna buy a pair here soon. Gotta find out which ones though, that's for sure. <laughs> What's up, 
Clemson family, Smith and Trotter here, junior offense lineman, doing my micro internship here in uh, Northwestern Mutual at Greenville. So I've been here all week getting learned from a lot of different advisors, getting to learn different perspectives of what they've done in the career. Hey Clemson family, my name is Claire Bray. I am the Executive Director of Recruitment uh, for the Tripoli District here in Greenville, South Carolina for Northwestern Mutual. Uh, this week we had Mason Trotter join us for the whole week and had a great combination of meeting with financial advisors, shadowing team meetings, attending internal trainings, uh, really learning the ins and out not only of our company but also the business of financial advising. Our hope is that he leaves this week with a really good understanding of of who we are as a company, um, what we do to help our clients be financially secure, and also about the career opportunity, right? And we hope that he's able to figure out if this could be a potential opportunity for him when he graduates. One of the main things here that I've learned is that a lot of things are about relationships and how you build with different people. And it's not all about just trying to get money from people and stuff. It's just about the relationships that you build with them. When you look across our company, right, one out of five of our financial advisors are former NCAA athletes. So just that stat right there, right? We obviously see great value in bringing on former athletes to our firm. They're coachable, they're trainable, they've got big drive, right? They're competitive, uh, want to win mentality. So it's a huge um, asset to our firm if we can find a great college athlete to bring into our industry. Yeah, I think coming from athletics and coming into this career is uh, very crucial. And they've explained that to me that people, you have a right mindset to come in this and grind and be self-aware of what you got to do to get the job done. All these different pillars, right, that you guys go through with Paul Journey, it's much more than just on the field playing football. So I think that's why I really like partnering with Paul Journey because you guys see that and you invest in your players um, in the classroom just as professionals and like I said, teaching them to be great members of society. So um, makes me excited and also being here in the upstate, right? Uh, I think we're all Clemson fans just by affiliation. So it's always great when we can give back to them. Yeah, nice to meet you. So my name is Jim Story. Uh, I'm a senior sales manager in our cybersecurity division. TD Cenex is a 58 billion a year um, IT distributor. The real goal of the micro internship from a TD Cenex standpoint is to, one, uh, create relationships, uh, put them in front of a lot of different key leaders. You know, so in the five day time frame, we try to put them in front of some real life opportunities as well as grow relationships and uh, really pick anybody's brain and uh, learn throughout the week. I'm looking to learn more about like the programs, how like they distribute their orders, how they like get everything shipped out and everything. Really like the ins and outs of everything. People have been more than welcoming. Uh, I've really enjoyed it so far. The company reminds me a lot of Clemson football, just the culture, culture and the atmosphere that they bring. Very much like a family. I uh, came to Clemson in 2016, I played tight end, and I finished up around 2021. Paul Journey really uh, offered a, a, a great experience for me. Going through Clemson, I tore my ACL twice. I knew I wasn't going to the league. I met with some people here at TD Cinex through the micro internships, and they offered me a chance to come through, and I haven't looked back since. It's been awesome. So the awesomeness of this program that ET and Aiden, they will learn the benefits of what it means to be like in corporate America. And I think that's a major asset to any college student coming in and or trying to determine what it is that they want to do full time after college. What's up, Clemson family? Tyler Venables here. I'm with the um, the Lion J crew. I'm learning a lot and um, I'm having a great time. Enjoying the construction site, man. Learning a lot of information about real estate and uh, many other things. So really enjoying it out here. So JK and his father focused on commercial real estate. They had contracted a commercial piece of a mixed use property that I was developing. You know, out of the friendship came Lion J. He just grew from there. Football players go about the business. They come in, they set, set to work immediately. They're always inquisitive, ask good questions. Um, you know, after spending a week in, in our company with those guys, interacting with them, I can't honestly say there isn't one of them we wouldn't hire for a permanent position later. I was really excited when uh, JK asked me to uh, get involved with Paul Journey and what Lion J does with Paul Journey. Rashard does such a good job and, um, you know, just excited to continue that relationship and see these guys come in and learn and kind of have those light bulb moments. What I've not realized is that there's a whole nother element to the real estate game other than just like vertical building is like a horizontal development like this that we're at right now. 
I just want to say thank you to all the Paul Journey staff. You guys have set us up for so many opportunities uh, for life after football. Your, uh, your work never goes unnoticed, and we appreciate everything that you do for us. Thank you. What's going on Clemson family? Josiah Carlton here. We're here at uh, Lima One Capital in Greenville, South Carolina doing our micro internships. It's a great atmosphere to be in. Lots of interactive things that you can do and great people to be around. My name is Greg Hugel. I was a place kicker on the Clemson football team from 2015 to 2019. Having Josiah and Will here it's been an absolute pleasure. We're able to pour into the younger generation and truly help them set up those next steps, walk through, help them find what their true interests are. So it's trying to give them as much information as we possibly can. I think right now, the main goal is just kind of like getting a base knowledge so I can kind of kind of speak in conversations and kind of listen and uh, really help. I can thank Paw Journey for where I'm at today. Absolutely helped me become a better young man and figure out truly what my interests were. I'm really grateful for Paul Journey being able to kind of set up this opportunity for us. And then I know myself and Josiah are really grateful. Hi, I'm Paul Stewart and I'm with Cisco Systems. So I've had the honor and privilege of working with Clemson Football and Paul Journey for the past five years now. And just can't speak any more highly of the quality of people type of individual and person we get through this program every year. So I worked with Cisco this year. It was a virtual internship and we basically met from nine to five every day. And we learned different parts of the company. So whether that was like the actual sales part, the HR department. And it was a good week. I mean, it was very successful. We had a lot of great talks, had a lot of great discussion. We got to meet with people that were in our own situation not too many few years ago. The investment that Clemson football is making into these student athletes, into this Paul Journey program, is a big reason why we continue to be a part of this. They're looking beyond the athlete and they're looking at the student. They're looking at the person, the individual. So for us, it just really correlates to who we are as a company as well. It's about that culture, it's about that family. And so we are so proud to be a part of this every year and look forward to many, many years of success in the future. Go Tigers. What's up y'all, it's Hamp Green. Hey, I'm Catherine Stone. Sergio Allen. And we're here in Birmingham, UK for the first rate internship. We're gonna be learning about wealth management, financial technology, and global engagement, how to be a global citizen. What's up guys, we're here at the Aston Villa Football Club. Yep. Uh, phenomenal time here, beautiful, beautiful city, beautiful stadium. Most come check it out sometime. Yep. We're absolutely doing amazing. Stay tuned for more. Cheers. Cheers. Had a phenomenal time here in Birmingham and in London. So much fun in the UK and hope to come back here again soon. Definitely wanted to thank First Rate for having the both of us. Um, one thing I took away from here is how important culture is. I saw a lot of similarities between First Rate and uh, Clemson. I also wanted to thank Miss Catherine, Miss Claire, and Mr. John T uh, for representing their culture so well and just giving us the best experience in history behind the UK. Yeah, and I also want to thank Paul Journey because without everyone involved with Paul Journey, this wouldn't be possible. And so because of them, we now have a super memorable experience. So we just want to thank you guys. Cheers. Cheers. What's up, Tiger Nation? Jake Brenningstool here, checking in from uh, North Myrtle Beach here on a micro internship with Elliott Realty. Just want to give a special shout out to Will Wall and Rick Elliott um, for hosting us this week, uh, showing us a great time and uh, teaching us a lot about life and a lot about your company. And uh, I'm very appreciative of everything that you guys did. And I had a great time with my teammates and we had a lot of fun while doing it. Peace out, go Tigers. Hello everyone, this is Brandon Spector here. I'm in North Myrtle Beach with Elliott Realty on my micro internship. Elliott Realty has different departments and so far this week we have joined the house management, property services, owner services, and the reservations team. Lastly, I just want to say thank you to Will Wall and Rick Elliott. This has been a great experience. Um, I've loved it here. I've learned so much. Um, all the other guys have had a great time. It's been a great week and go Tigers.
Sheridan Jones here, um, senior cornerback. Thanks to Paul Journey, we got the opportunity to work with Adobe for these past couple of weeks. They're here in town this week, so now we get to really fellowship, enjoy each other's company, and really just show them around. Uh, we've been working on just building our brand. Um, we learned to use LinkedIn, Spark page, voicemail templates, email templates when you're trying to look for a job. Just more stuff to help us get ready for the real world, because football won't last forever. Hi, I'm Cass Taylor with Adobe. I'm sports marketing manager. I'm out here at Clemson University. And what we provide is that opportunity to have an internship um, for these student athletes as they don't really have those opportunities during the summer. So therefore, since they can't do a traditional internship program, we provide them with this micro internship program where they learn about you know, Adobe itself from business side, sales side, from a marketing side. And then during the week, they take all that information that they, that they get in and then they present it back out. So at the end of their micro internship, now they get to teach the teacher about what they've been doing in a presentation. Hey Clemson family, I'm Jessica Holmes. I lead the Adobe Sales Academy and I'm here at Clemson today wrapping up our micro internship with 12 scholar athletes. We've been learning more about themselves, personal branding, career development, and how to use some tools that salespeople use to help them pursue any career that they have for their future endeavors. What's up Vlogineers, E.T. Rubin, defensive tackle. Um, just finished up the capstone presentations with Adobe. Like this was major. Like I was able to do two internships this year, and um, just being able to get like an inside look on what like the workspace is, and while still playing football, being on like playing on the field is crazy. It's a thing that not too many other players at other schools get to do, and uh, it's something I'm just really grateful for. So shout out Paul Journey. So we love working with Clemson and Pod Journey because they are a family and at Adobe we are as well. And we look for people who align with our core values of being genuine, creative, involved, and everything that we stand for, Clemson and Pod Journey does as well. You're not a fan of the honking. No, I'm not, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, no one's going anywhere. Just chill. This is coming from an impatient driver myself. But, you know what I'm saying? They do that to me, I'm getting out of the car. No, I'm trying to get out of the car. And dancing in the business building. Yeah, put that in the video. I gotta do this right quick.